So welcome in this uh, new episode. So as you can see, today we're going to talk about the Gus uh, sprayer. We are with Ben. Hello, Ben. Could you please uh, present yourself and your company? Yeah, my name is Ben Sill. Um, I work for my family farm here, Sill Properties. Uh, we've been around since 1895. Uh, we grow about 4,500 4, acres of almonds, carrots, garlic, corn, alfalfa, uh, potatoes, onions. When did you decide to invest in such technologies? Uh, four years ago, we decided to um, invest in the Gus's with uh, the price of labor going up um, here in California every year and it being tougher to find good labor. Um, we decided this you know, might be a good investment and uh, so we moved forward with it in a good four years. Do you know how many acres or how many hours you did with them? We usually spray anywhere from five to seven times a year and they'll spray 800 acres. They usually do about half, half the rent. Uh, no, total, 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 yeah. So you can do the math on it. Yeah, I, I will do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How basically did you integrate these robots in your operation? So we got them and then um, I worked with Gus. They, they trained me and um, we did all the, you know, all the mapping and everything we needed to do. And then uh, from there, we just, we just started using them like, like we do our traditional sprayers. I try and keep these Gus's kind of closer to the shop here and the ranch. Um, that way we don't have to freight them around. Um, but they spray the almonds just, just like we do with the traditional one. How many people do you need to manage a, a fleet of four machines? So it's just me um, operating the machines and then I have one guy who's loading chemicals, fertilizers, whatever we're putting yeah. on. It's just one guy um, loading them and then me operating them in, out of the truck. So how many people can you replace uh, with this fleet of uh, four? With four, um, traditionally we would need four operators. Um, so we save four guys there. With our traditional ones, we have six sprayers and two guys loading them. So that's an eight-man crew. Here we just have two. So your labor savings are pretty significant. You operate them from your truck, basically? Yes. So okay. everything's done on a laptop out of my truck. As long as I have cell service or internet, I can run. And how efficient they, they are to a tractor with an operator? Efficiency is a, a, a big thing with them. You change the settings on it. You tell it how fast you want it to go. The you know, spray pressure, your flow rate, and I mean, it stays right on. When there's not trees in the field, they'll shut off. So you're saving, you know, chemical and material there. So it's a, it's definitely a more efficient operation. And do you have any improvement in mind that still need to be implemented on this machine? Going on and offline with the, the loose satellite signal. So when the trees are real full, the canopy's full, sometimes they'll, they'll lose signal in the field. And, you know, that can cause problems because you lose that communication with them. So if they found a way to um, keep the signal, then I, I think they'd be obviously a lot better. Run, we'd run into less problems. Being more efficient, they would stop less, etc. Yeah, yep. And then um, the other things we've, we've found is you need to keep your orchards very clean, keep your weeds down. Uh, we do cover crops now, so having the cover crop in the field is, is kind of been a problem um, when we go to spray with them. If the cover crop or weeds are a uh, above two feet tall, the LIDAR starts to pick it up and then the machines stop a lot. It can it can really slow down the, the operation. And how is the service of the maintenance organized? Do you work directly with Gus? So um, usually if there's any kind of software computer problems, I'll, I'll talk with Gus directly. So they, they can do the remote tap in and they can come on my laptop and see what's going on. They can see my screen and usually we can get things resolved pretty quickly. On the mechanical side of things, if it's something my guys can't can't fix or work on, then we'll talk with one of two dealerships that are now selling them. They'll have a service guy come out, you know, they'll get the parts from Gus and, and fix what needs to be fixed. Do you pay any subscription for that? There's a annual subscription uh, per machine. I can get you the numbers. Okay, I we'll just, see the numbers later. Yeah, I can't remember I, offhand. I no so, Do you have any advice to someone that are, that is thinking about implementing such technologies on his farm? They're not difficult to operate but you need someone who's you know familiar with with computers and you know working with software and things because there is a learning curve so just be prepared to uh spend some time on it you have to spend some time you're gonna have to you know think on the fly and troubleshoot and and um it's a big upfront cost i mean they're they're not cheap how long did it take you to get used to the machine uh to get honestly to be Truly, truly comfortable running them. Probably, it probably took 
two or three sprays. So okay. I'd say over a span of maybe four months or so. To really well understand how the machine gonna react, etc. To be really familiar with it. I'd say probably mm -hmm. four months. Okay. So yeah, that's not short, but uh, no. Think. But it's just repetition. The more you operate them, the more you run them, the more familiar you get with them. The the more familiar you get with the problems that that typically pop up and and the quick solutions to to get past it. Would you have like five more minutes to present us, uh, to do a quick tour, uh, presenting us like the key uh, components of the machine? Yeah. yeah. Right. So this is the Gus. Um, it's kind of the brains of the operation up here. There's a computer and everything is housed in there. Up top, I don't know if you can see, but you've got the Trimble units, the satellite and cell um, signal. Here's the engines. Uh, so in the back we have the engine. Yep, big Cummings uh, diesel engine. Um, so the tank is here, I guess? Yeah, so this is a 600 gallon uh, stainless steel tank. So this is a fan that you were already using, uh, the same fan technology you were using on your tractor before? Yeah, so all of our traditional sprayers are engine driven. Where do you feel the, the tank? Right here. Okay. So we will come up, take this cap off, and uh, they'll fill. When it's full, this light comes on and turns blue. Okay. Letting the, uh, the loader know that it's full, it'll shut off. And then this is a safety feature they have that if this cap doesn't go back on, it, it won't run. Oh, there's a sensor on it. And yeah, so yeah. This, that sensor right here talks to this and okay. this it is won't a safety, uh, safety yeah. so Anything on the left side on the machine? No, this is just your, your filter. So, I mean, we'll clean that out after every spray. This is kind of... Yeah. This, this is a, how you operate it. Yeah, so um, if you get in trouble in the field or anything and need to move it around, you turn this on and you can just this, drive it. This is what you use to move the machine and yep. load it on trailers, this kind of thing. Yep. Okay. So, so if the machine stops in the field for whatever reason or it's something's going on, I can look at that camera and it shows me, you know, what's in front of it. If there's nothing there, I can keep the machine moving. If, oh, hey, a tree fell down or branches in the way, then I'll have to go out there and move it. Um, so you use it... Uh, like a check. Yes. Oh, the lighter pick up something, but there's nothing on the camera, so just keep going. Yep. Okay. So, and then this is the lidar. So that's kind of how it's it's driving. It's it's that lidar picks up the trees, the trunks, and and that's how it stays center in the row. Mm -hmm. So, if it compresses, it shuts the machine off. Thank you very much, Ben, for for all your time and hosting us. Thank you. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see this machine working right now. All right. Thanks. Thank you.